talking about the newest Jaguar is as simple as ABC, or should I say C, D, and E. I'm talking about the C type, the D type, and of course the legendary E type, a car a lot of people feel is the most beautiful car in the world. Well now, for the first time in 50 years, Jaguar has the audacity to draw on all that heritage to introduce an all new sports car, the F type, and here it is. When you look at the spec sheet, the new Jaguar F-Type has the credentials to step into the rarefied atmosphere of the world's elite sports cars. Its handsome body is assembled from high-strength aluminum alloys. Its suspension is not only sophisticated, but is also supplemented by a number of electronic driver assists. Its transmission is smarter than most third-year engineering students. And its front engine bay houses one of three powerful engine choices. But a promising collection of pieces doesn't always result in a satisfying sports car. And this sports car is carrying the heavy pedigree of Jaguar. And that's exactly why we're here in Spain, to see if the new Jaguar F-Type lives up to the legacy of the other great Jaguar sports cars. First off, you might be wondering why Jaguar has decided to spend a significant amount of cash to introduce an all-new high-end sports car in an era of economic malaise and ever-increasing fuel economy restrictions. What is Jaguar trying to accomplish with this car? Well, interestingly enough, they're not trying to sell a lot of cars. What they want to do is have the image from this car, the F-Type, extend across the image of their entire line of vehicles. That means that the F-Type has to be something more than simply a competent sports car. It has to excite the senses and the soul, and that takes some serious effort. Jaguar has cut out a really big task for itself, and they want this car to compete with the Porsche 911 perhaps the most legendary sports car of all time. One way to compete with elite sports cars like the 911 is by infusing the F-Type with large doses of an elixir called horsepower. On that score, the F-Type turns in considerably more than a passing grade. The 3 liter V6 in the base version of the car is supercharged to deliver 340 horsepower that's good enough to whisk you from zero to 60 miles an hour in just a smidge over five seconds. And things simply get hotter from there. The F-Type S adds 40 additional horsepower to the mix in the process dropping the zero to 60 time to under five seconds. And the five liter supercharged engine of the F-Type V8 S pleasantly burbles out 495 horsepower. That's good for a 4.2 second dash to 60 and a 186 miles per hour top speed. All this power is aided and abetted by the quick shift automatic transmission, which has got to be the smartest transmission we've ever encountered. The first thing you feel about this transmission is that you don't feel anything at all. You don't feel shifts, uh, largely because it's an 8-speed, I think. The shifts are almost imperceptible, although there was one, wasn't there? The transmission also might make you a better driver than you already are. It will blip the throttle to match engine revolutions when you downshift, so you can make quick downshifts in rapid succession via the paddles. And then there's corner recognition that senses when the F-Type is going around a curve and holds the gear rather than upshifting. That's something that in the past only humans could do. Electronic driver assistance goes well beyond the transmission, too. Another prime example is the dynamic mode that enables you to tune throttle response, steering weight, gear changes, and stability control threshold to match your preferences. And if that fails to suit your needs for customization, try the configurable dynamics option that enables you to select the elements of dynamic mode that you want to fool with so you can tailor the shock damping, steering rate, and throttle response to your liking while leaving other settings at factory spec. It also allows you to record data like lap and split times, brake and throttle inputs, and g-forces, enabling impromptu competition with your well-to-do friends. While there are video game aspects to the F-Type, the basics are covered as well. Brakes, for instance. If you're going to drive fast, it's important to have plenty of stopping power because you'll always encounter that irritating driver who's going slower than you are. Well, a really fast car needs really big brakes, and the brakes in the F-Type are the biggest brakes Jaguar has ever put on any of its cars, and we found them to be largely flawless. The legendary E-Type is a tough act to follow, but at a pace of 50 years, Ian Callum's design team have done a very good job. 
The fenders and belt line of the F-Type aren't nearly as tantalizingly low as the E-Type, but Malcolm Sayer, who is credited with the E-Type design, was not faced with the safety rules and regs that bedevil current car designers. Intentionally shying away from using a Jaguar trademark oval grill opening, the designers instead created a contemporary trapezoidal grill topped by dramatic headlamps. And the simple rear end, highlighted by wraparound tail lamps, is appealingly slim. A pop-up wing takes care of the aero duties that might otherwise have been handled with a higher and chunkier rear. We think that's an elegant solution. The interior is also elegant in both design and function. The two seats are almost infinitely adjustable and covered in supple leather. The center stack is a lesson in well-tailored simplicity dominated by a large TFT touchscreen and three rotary knobs. And Jaguar has returned to a more conventional shift lever that is the joystick for the sophisticated transmission. Those seeking behind the seat storage might be disappointed but that is the only potential disappointment we discovered in the interior that was our office for two days. Some might be disappointed that the convertible top isn't fashioned of aluminum, but we're fans of the throwback fabric-covered top. It not only goes up and down at the touch of a button, but it does so while you're traveling as fast as 30 miles per hour. What we're saying is, all the pieces are here. Dynamically, the new F-Type finds itself in very fast company. It's a classic sports car with acceleration, braking, and cornering ability that transcends its $70,000 to $95,000 price. It is certainly a more pure sports machine than the Mercedes-Benz SL, and though Jaguar execs touted it as a 911 competitor, it strikes us as more analogous to the Chevrolet Corvette than the 911. So here we are at the Pamplona Airport, and it's the end of our F-Type drive. They just keep coming by us. There's some Jaguar people now. What's the takeaway from our drive? Well, number one, we like the car a lot. Is it the best sports car ever? No. Is it the prettiest sports car ever? No, it isn't that either. But we believe it's a sports car that's really going to put Jaguar back in the sports car game. And that's exactly what they had in mind.